We are this essay. This is High Priestess Yashodara saying welcome viewer. Welcome to the second week of May 2024. This week we are covering uh, dates 8th of May to 15th of May. That's what this video is going to cover. The central theme for this week we have pulled out three oracular cards from three different decks. Here you have Father Time, one of my favorite cards for the deck. The card of recovery and the card of silence. All right, let me break this down for you. Father time, uh, when this card comes, it means time is of the essence for you. There seems to be a, uh, there seems to be a time limit in terms of whatever it is that you're pursuing at the moment, whatever aim you're trying to achieve at the moment. And you don't have time to think, you don't have time to ponder, you don't have time to recheck. You just need to get the job done. So do exactly that. Get the job done, trust your instincts and you won't fail. Okay. The next card is the card of recovery. So uh, this is more in terms of a recent illness that you or a loved one has gone through. And uh, you need to give yourself time to recover from it, to get over it. This could also be in terms of a hit in a relationship or something that you valued a lot in your life. Okay. So give yourself time to recover. And the key, if you notice, there's a beautiful lilac key here. The key is to allow yourself to heal. That's very important. Don't push it under the uh, carpet or, you know, put it in the back burner of your life. If you, if, you ha if you recover, learn your lesson and move on, you're done. Whether it's an illness, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a hit to your system, whatever it is. And remember, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. And that holds true in many, many situations. The card of silence is here, which means, interestingly, the hourglass is here. Uh, and uh, I'm sure you all know that in the olden times, this is what our watch used to look like. This is the hourglass with sand trickling from one to another, depending on how many minutes or hours um, you would have an hourglass for. So uh, this card of silence speaks about speak only when you're spoken to, speak when your words have weight, when you want your voice to be heard but avoid unnecessarily speaking. Remember, you have two ears and one mouth. Use that system and you'll be fine. All right, uh, so let's do the first. You have four decks. Uh, we've already divided the cards. You have general, you have health, you have wealth, and you have relationships. So we are doing general first. For the general deck, you have pulled out the star card, the card of the lovers, the eight of coins or the eight of pentacles, and the nine of wands. So the... Star cards uh, tells me that either you're an Aquarian or dealing with one. This card also means that in a situation where you feel all hope is lost, you're being told that hope is just around the corner, so don't give up. Hope is eternal. Hope is still there in this situation. This card is also a karmic card. For those of you who have not released your karmic baggage, please go ahead and do it. Otherwise, those teeny tiny annoying little obstacles in your life holistically uh, will remain. So get rid of it. You can have a dragon spell done by us or go to some place where you trust and get the job done. The lover's card tells me that you could be a Gemini or you could be dealing with one. This card also means that at this point of time you are lacking self-love. That's why you're not feeling confident enough in something. Uh, you're, you're doubting yourself. You may be doubting the process. Uh, you are not taking care of yourself as much as you should. And I don't mean visiting the salon or the parlor. This means that you are not... Um, giving yourself the time you require for resting, recovering, uh, what you call me time, right? Um, go out a little, spend some time with your own self and be comfortable with it. Um, find out what are the thoughts that make you uncomfortable and deal with them. So these are all part of the lover's card. If you're not doing it, then please start. Because if the card is showing up, it means you're, deny you're denying yourself the time that you deserve to heal, to grow. All right. Um, the eight of coins, the eight of pentacles tells me that, well, in the financial aspect of your life, it looks like your qualifications, uh, your resume, whether you're a business person or whether you're, in a, uh, whether you're a professional, people, the right kind of people are sitting up and taking notice. So good for you on that score. Um, and uh, it's also possible that you might be due for a job, promotion, um, in terms of business, uh, definitely investment, diversification, or hitting the jackpot in terms of uh, finding your target market. Okay, that's happening. And the nine of swords looks like uh, you have been holding the fort for quite some time. 
uh, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're wondering when is this going to end, when are you going to be shown a glimmer, a ray of hope, and um, when are you going to be able to hold on to it, pass the baton even. And here you've been told, remind yourself that you haven't come this far to give up, to throw in the towel. No, you need to keep holding on to hope because the star card has already come, right? Don't give up. You have not come this far to give up. You still have a little more to go and you'll get what you want. Good deck, huh? All right, let's move on to the second deck, which is the deck of health. You've pulled out, you were the queen of wands. This, remember, is for the uh, month of May, the second week, which is 8th to 15th. The card of judgment, aha, uh -huh. the queen of wands again. And the page of cups so you have two queen of wands let's deal with these ladies first don't go by the gender you could be a male also this card means you could be a leo or dealing with one this card also shows um, a black cat which means dark magic elements are involved magic elements are involved uh, whether it is light or dark really depends on if you are practicing it or if it's been practiced against you so if you want to find out have a reading done and you'll get to know more uh, or else, uh, well, you'll have to take a chance and uh, go by your gut and see what happens. This card also means that people are coming to you, taking advice from you, trying it in their life and thanking you because it works. But when it comes to you yourself, you shy away. Why are you not confident about your own decisions? Why are you not confident about the advice that you dish out to others? Why aren't you practicing what you preach? Find out the reason why and you'll find the solution to the challenge you're facing at the moment. It's come twice, which means please sit up and take notice. The judgment card tells me that this is a purely karmic card. So it looks like you do have karmic baggage, which has to be released. Please have it done. It could be ancestral karmic baggage. It could be karmic baggage of your own self, of your um, your immediate family. But it is this is the reason why there are obstacles um, and uh, you know why, why you're not being able to get what it is that you're working towards to your satisfaction, right? So get this done, right? Uh, page of Cups, uh, this card means that uh, you might be receiving a message that will make you happy. Um, a relative of yours could be uh, your daughter, could be your younger uh, sibling, possibly feminine, or niece, um, or friend's daughter. Somebody will be receiving some kind of an accolade, some kind of an award and achievement, and that's going to be a celebratory occasion. Uh, so don't forget to enjoy it. It's a high vibe. Congratulate, enjoy, wish them many more, and uh, share their enthusiasm and uh, their joy of achievement. All right, uh, let's do the wealth deck now. That's your third deck for the month of uh, May, uh, dates 8 to 15th. You've pulled out the six of swords, the four of coins or the four of pentacles, the ace of wands, interesting, and the ace of swords, two aces, wow. All right, um, let's do this first. So Six of Swords says that uh, if you're thinking of investing, then uh, buy the water would be something that is going to grant you a lot of good returns. If you're planning to uh, have a mortar and brick office of your business, if you're planning to apply for a job, then buy the water would definitely be something that will work in your favor. And it's happening. And uh, if you are getting an offer and you're waiting for a better offer, this is as good as it's going to get. So please take the offer that you have in your hand. Either you're a business person or you're a professional, you're an investor, buyer, seller, either which ways. This is what's happening, right? So take it and don't forget to express gratitude and more good things will come your way. All right, uh, four of coins, four of pentacles tells me that you are going to be a little tight-fisted in terms of money. I would, I would advise you to practice frugality, which means... See the utility of what needs to be spent on and then spend it. Don't be a miser and don't be a spendthrift. They are both bad for blue magic. Frugality is top notch when it comes to blue magic. This card also means that you might be uh, going through um, renovations, rebuilding, refurbishing, buying, selling in terms of your property, in terms of the place that you own. It could be uh, it could be a place where you are you are living in at the moment, or you could be owning it, or both. Uh, you are, uh, you might be thinking of expanding, redoing, redecorating, um, you know, adding a few knickknacks here and there or a full-fledged, you know, making an outhouse or uh, painting the whole place or something like that. Um, or it could be even furnitures and fixtures. Um, this card also means that uh, 
we need to take a little more uh, effort in figuring out the legalities of what you own so we, we could be talking about property tax and electricity and water etc gas all right the two aces i saved the best for the last ace of wands is here to say that the solution that you're looking for to the challenge that you're facing at the moment is available to you through magic as you know we are spellcaster sitting right here at rakaina if you have others who you trust kindly go ahead and uh, uh, have the job get the job done like i say have the spell casted and get what it is that you want providing it doesn't harm anyone all right an ace of swords tells me that you need to act now if you want to gain victory in what it is that you're seeking because if you don't and you procrastinate and waste time remember the card of father time has come uh, in your central theme which means the more time you spend in thinking the more the universe will be taking decisions on your behalf and they may not be to your liking right so that finishes your deck of wealth let's see the deck of relationships from 8th to 15th of may you pulled out the king of cups the hermit card the king of swords and the seven of swords there we go a little bit of chai king of cups tells me that you could be a pisces cancer scorpio or dealing with one don't go by the gender you could be a female also this card means that uh, you are holding on to something really tightly you are this could be a person this could be um you know a relationship this could be the thought of having a relationship but you're say for example you really want to get married or say for example really want to have a child or say for example you really want your in-laws to get along with you or say for example you really want your boss to favor you over it could be personal or professional right so i'm just citing examples see where you fit you really want your boss to give you the attention and you the project and nobody else um whatever it is uh, but you're holding on to it so tightly that this insecurity this underconfidence this tension this worry uh, it's just it's it's not a good vibe it's a very low vibe don't do that it's going to happen eventually if you just let it flow let it breathe do what you have to take a step back and then just be indifferent that's it caring but indifferent so i leave it at that okay you have another card where is it where is it the king of swords this tells me that you could be a gemini or dealing with one don't go by the gender you could be a female also this card means that uh, you are quite stern nowadays uh, with the kind of work that you've been assigned probably because you are being held accountable for its result and you want it to be top notch and that's why you're being a little um, a little more strict a little more stern and uh, literally sword sh swishing like they say it's all right nobody will judge you for it they understand that this pressure on you just don't be harsh is all i'm saying okay the hermit card is here to say that you could be a virgo or dealing with one this card also means that uh, well um you're being asked to introspect in terms of your relationships your interpersonal relationships could be personal could be professional and how much are you ready to put in and uh, what do you expect in return see how this works out tough tough questions uh answers won't be that easy but they will be well worth it if you put in the effort but remember don't spend too much of time on it and seven of swords is the last card for this week in which uh well either somebody is cheating on you or you're cheating on someone either which way is bad um and uh this card also means that you need to change your strategy so say you have a friend right and you thought the person you want to be there for the person and uh they they need your support this is there's a there's always a time involved with it that person cannot expect you to give them support 24 7 you also have a life you may also have other friends and other things to do because if you keep giving them support what's going to happen to your life so maybe you need to change your strategy and say hey, listen i'm there for you but i you need to be there for yourself also and you need to understand that i also have a life just giving an example see what works for you and what doesn't please leave it right here at my beautiful circular table all right you that's all i have for you for the uh, week of uh, week of 8th to 15th of may 2024 i will see you in the next video until then love light and knowledge to you all beatrice sa and om sarve bhavantu sukhinam